I have been seeing some recipes of how to make a keto ice cream. Hopefully this didn't get too full or anything. Wow. Yeah. I could eat this whole thing. Whoa. It's so good. <laughs> Make a cake. Well, cupcake. A cupcake. And we're gonna make a cake and cupcakes? No, just a cupcakes. Oh. We're gonna take a shortcut, huh? Shortcut, yeah. What are we gonna do today? Make cupcakes. Make cupcakes for who? Brielle. Brielle. Because she didn't have her food yet. Because we didn't celebrate her birthday yet. Yeah, but we did, but we didn't make our food. Right. Ah? Yeah, birthday girl. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do a little shortcut, which I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but basically all you do is you take a regular cake box mix, which is obviously not keto, and any soda can. We are gonna use this cherry flavored bubbly. You can use anything, even the you know unflavored, basically seltzer water. And we're going to mix the two together, and voila, you're done. You don't need oil, you don't need eggs, you don't need water. It makes it vegan, and I've made it for some vegan friends. And that's it. It makes it super easy. We're gonna make it in the big cupcake tins, kind of like. Let's to, make it. Now. Yeah, kind of. It now. Hold on. Kind of to make it a smash cake type thing for her. Mm. I know. Are you so excited? Because we kind of missed her birthday. We were just crazy at the time, and I feel like she should have pictures of a smash cake. Because Benjamin did. Say hi. Hey, you just woke up, but you cranky a little bit. Hmm? You had some lunch? Some chicken nuggets and cheese? No. Chicken nuggets and cheese? Did you drink your water? Did you drink your water? Yeah, good job. Chicken water, chicken water. Okay, let's set it up on the tripod and get to it. Cutting. We are kind of impromptu celebrating Brielle's birthday like a month late. But Benjamin has set the table, which you can see. Brandon's making a cream sauce for their pasta. I made a little cauliflower, like pea and carrot and kielbasa mixture for us. And we have some leftover chicken. And then we're gonna frost the cupcakes. And it's gonna be yummy. Look at your lips. 
Did you bust your lip on the sidewalk? Yeah. Yeah. You're playing too hard at school, huh? <gasps> There's the birthday girl. Birthday girl. Where's your unicorn? Where's your unicorn? Time. <gasps> There's your unicorn. Birthday. What? Bye -bye. Oh, she said no. <laughs> time to share. We have made a cream cheese with some food coloring and some Swerve confectioner's sugar, which is just erythritol. And now we're going to mix some heavy whipping cream. I know, I know. Heavy whipping cream with some of the same stuff to make like a whipped cream in the Vitamix and then mix it together as a whipped cream cheese frosting. We've made it before, it's so good. And then we're gonna put it on the cupcakes and then put sprinkles on them and then See what she does with the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Ready, Benjamin? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's gotta be so yummy. Now it's You need to put some in your hand first. Remember, because that comes out really fast. birthday is it? <laughs> she just literally lifted her hand. <laughs> Happy birthday dear Brielle. Happy birthday to you. What do you think about that Brielle? <laughs> Birthday face. Brielle. Brielle. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't breathe it in. <gasps> oh, it's in your nose. <laughs> you can't breathe it in, you silly girl. <laughs> I'm eating over here. Oh, girly. Today we're going to try to make homemade ice cream. 
it's Sunday, so Brielle is napping, and we're gonna go to church later, and I have been seeing some recipes of how to make a keto ice cream, and so I'm going to try it out with Benjamin. And basically it calls for heavy whipping cream, some erythritol, you can use, um, you know, the stevia sweetened chocolate chips. You can do peanut butter. You can do instant coffee. I'm going to add some MCT oil because I have seen comments that that makes it a little more, like, less icy. Um, so I've never tried it. I'm going to try it out. And you guys can watch us. And if it turns out great, I'll tell you. Or if we're going to tweak it, I'll also tell you that so you can do it for yourself. So let's go. Oh, I need to get the tripod. Where is our tripod? Oh, it's upstairs. Also, we're thawing some pork to do in the sous vide because we have friends coming over tonight. And we basically do it very similarly to the steak, which if you haven't seen that video, you can link it in the cards and down below because it's the best steak ever. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead and try it. And I got my cold brew, a little leftover from breakfast. It's the best cold brew ever. If you have watched this at all, I basically mention it almost in every video because I'm always drinking it and it's just so good. So check out that link and up in the cards. Okay, Benjamin, you ready? Yeah. Ready. Ready as a rock. <laughs> ready as a rock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that means I'm ready for a rock to roll. Oh, you're ready. It's a rock and roll. That's very clever, Benjamin. No, it's a rock. So it can roll everywhere. Oh, because we're gonna go rock and roll. No, ready as a rock, rock and roll. No, it means the rock is gonna roll so fast. Okay, put that on here. Hold, please. We need new batteries for our scale because it's just easier sometimes to measure on that, um, so we don't waste any heavy whipping cream. Okay. Okay. So we did eight ounces. After church, and we're gonna go check the ice cream. So cold. There's some more ice cream. No, that's garlic butter. <laughs> garlic butter. Okay, you take this. Okay. Let's eat this. Hopefully, this didn't get too full or anything. Let's eat it. Yeah, let me open it. That one's the peanut butter. Here, I'll do it. Oh, let's show the camera. No. Okay. Okay. Is that yummy? Mmm. Let's try this one now. Peanut butter. Okay. This is so good. Peanut butter chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clean one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hang it up, hang it up. Wow, I could eat this whole thing. Whoa! It's so good. <laughs> Brielle, you want some more? I want some pirate booty too. Consensus is I don't know why I didn't make this before. It's like just so good. I mean, and the best part is, is I think it's better than other ice cream because, like, I'm not gonna sugar crash. It's like. It's just so good. I can't wait to try other flavors. I'm going to do a chocolate coffee one. That would be really good. Try a vanilla one. <clears throat> I want to get those stevia chocolate chips. So good. Mm. 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 Mm.
so good you guys i'm telling you this is something you definitely have to try i will write the recipe that i use down below and it'll be on the blog which is ourfamilybee.com it's just so good and um each mason jar makes two servings so just keep that in mind when you're downing it <laughs> but definitely worth a try it was super easy too and like way less expensive than the other keto ice creams like rebel or you know all that kind of stuff so i would highly recommend it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. say hi eating your pirate booty all right guys thanks for watching if you like this video and you want to see more of what we've got coming out make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything also check out this video over here until we meet again don't forget life is better together <laughs>